So you had a week break after the Tampa Bay game, and then you'll have another it's 10 days off. How's that at, at this point of the season as far as getting guys back to full fitness? Uh, we've, we've had our time of, uh, of, of three games in a week. We've had some very difficult scheduling, as have other teams. Um, I'm pleased that we're getting plenty of time to recover, to prepare, uh, to refocus. Terrific win at the weekend. There can be some fallout and a little bit too much excitement at times in the early part of the week. Understandably so, but we're back on track now and everyone's looking forward to the weekend. You played St. Louis towards the early part of the season. I mean, at, at that point they were towards the top of the table, not so much now. Uh, what, what have you seen from them um, from the rest of their season and what are you expecting on Saturday? I expect a very, very difficult game. Um, two recent wins at home. It seemed to me from a distance that maybe the cup run interfered somewhat with some of the, the flow and the continuity of their league play. It also puts an added stress and pressure on bodies. They're missing a couple of players as well and have been. Um, could be due to the extra games, who knows. But nonetheless, I think they're getting back to where they were. The last couple of games I've watched them, there's a, there's a renewed energy and fight about the group. And, and I'm guessing that's been brought on by, you know, their chase for a playoff spot. But it makes them uh, an extremely tough group to play on, on their home field. And it's a, you know, it's a lively field. It, it makes for a real up and at game, which we'll be ready for. Um, this league's all about adapting and the game will be nothing like it was last week down in Tampa Bay, for sure. You, you had played with a... Uh... 4-2-3-1 and then recently we've seen a switch to more of a back, back three or back five system. What was the reasoning behind that? Um, last weekend more so um, was due to um, uh, the, the, the Tampa alignment. Um, I just felt there were a couple of areas of the field it made more sense to try and match up a little bit. But th there were things within that that we tried to just, just keep a little bit unique to how we play. And for some of the game, it worked. Um, it certainly didn't for 20 minutes after the break. They were far better than us. But I, I do think that the 4 2 3 1 is something that we are more comfortable with, and the players that we have are, are, are more um, in line with. What we know is we've got a good plan B, and when we need it, 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 it served us well to this point. How have you felt about Cameron Lancaster's performance with, with Rios out? I know he didn't necessarily have the impact against Tampa that he would have liked, but uh, otherwise, what have you shot in his performance? Well, the only thing we're missing is a goal. He's, his output in terms of um, physical energy has been very, very good. Uh, he's, his general play, he's fitting in great again. He's not really skipped a beat there. I mean, his, his assist from the free kick was, was wonderful, very nice, very inspirational and, and Cameron-like. I mean, he is somebody that sees things that others don't. And, you know, in a tight game, that's made all the difference. So, yeah, all he's missing is a goal. Um, I don't think it'll be long. I mean, he don't normally go too long before he gets himself back on the sheet. And I think that's really all he's missing to for him to feel like he's back. How's you're in, you're in second place towards the back end of the season. How's the mentality in the room? As you can imagine, it's, it's very buoyant. Uh, the important factor for us is that you know winning games at this point just reinforces some of the good results that we've had. If we feel as though the job's done, which it is nowhere near done really, um, then you normally find that you drop points at the, the least opportune time. Indy have won again last night, they've got games in hand, um, Pittsburgh have got games in hand, and, and in great form, uh, you know, there's, there's still some, some teams that are in a great place, probably better than we are, so we need to, we need to keep adding those points to the board and, and as, as often as possible. Thank you. What have you seen from, from St. Louis since you played them last towards the beginning of the season? Um, I think they were in a, a very different run of form at the beginning of the season. Um, I think you know they're, they're an organized team. They've got a lot of players with experience, a 
one of those independent teams do. So um, we don't think it's going to be an easy game by any means. Uh, they're fighting for a playoff spot. are going to get tighter and tighter and it's going to be little details that are going to really take you either where you want to go or, or not. How's it been getting back into the team after after a little while out with the It was, uh, it's been great. Um, you know, it was a frustrating period for me. You know, I told some of the guys that I think that's the longest in my career that I've spent injured. Um, so, I mean, it's great to be back uh, and contributing um, and uh, obviously we got everything to play for. How's the how's the mood in the group right now? Sitting in second towards the end of the season. It's uh it's really good. Yeah. I would say that the boys are um, excited to have something to you know that we feel like we can taste and, and see so closely. Um, you know everything to play for, like I said, and um, it's a, it's the moments as a player that you you wait for and you, you're you're ready for. Can you talk about the formation shift on the back end in the last two games and how that's benefited you guys. Yeah, I think um, you know one of the benefits of our group is that we've been able to play different shapes and be successful at it. Um, you know, I know Gary's like to go back and forth at times, so um, you know we've got a lot of good personnel, and I think different personnel suits different formations, and you know we've been able to adapt well, and I think it's benefited us throughout the year. What do you feel makes the team so successful? Um, I just think that you know we found this this grittiness to the group that's really been able to help us just grind out results when we need them. Um, you know, different games have presented different challenges for us, but on the road we're just finding ways to get the job done, which is, I think, a good sign of a winning team. And can you compare playing with someone like Andy Rios, who's more of a target forward up top, versus playing with, like, Aro Papa and Cameron? What's the distribution like? Yeah, I think, um, you know, all three of them have just fantastic qualities, which is, is awesome, because um, I think they're all very different in, in some ways. Um, I think we, we definitely miss the absence of Rios. You know, obviously he's been in great form all year for us. But, you know, we've got so much talent on this roster and people have really stepped up and, and showed that they can uh, produce as well. All right. How are you feeling after the win in Tampa Bay? It's your old team. Uh, good, good. Um, doesn't matter who we play as long as we get a win and, and um, keep this thing going in the right direction. I think that's all we care about is building on the performance from the week before. So. Uh, we're in a good place, and we want to keep that where it is. You played St. Louis earlier in the se much earlier in the season yeah. um, when they were towards the top of the table. Now they're kind of fighting for a playoff spot. What do you expect from them on Saturday? Well, we have our goals. They have theirs. You know, Ours is to win the league, and theirs is to get in the playoffs. So there's going to be something to play for uh, in this game, and we're both running out of games uh, to hit our goals. So uh, it's going to be an important match for both of us. And um, you know, if we, if, we, if we perform like we did in, in Tampa, I think um, – you know, we'll we'll be in good stead for the game in St. Louis. What's the mood in the group like right now in second towards the end of the season? Um, you know, we're we're a little bit more together. I think we know a little bit more about each other, and um, you know, some of the new guys that that, that have joined the team this year. Um, you know, I think collectively we've we've grown um, through the uh, growing pains of the beginning part of the season, and um, you know, we're just trying to keep putting together uh, consistent performances and and um, keeping us in a good place. You guys have kind of switched between a, a back four and a back three system this year. How does how does your role change in, the, in that in those changes and in, in yeah. the partnerships like? Mine stays the same. I just keep the ball in that. Um, you know, I think these guys are are becoming more adaptable um, every game we play. Um, you know, guys step up to the plate and fill a role, and and and, and, and the next guy up in the next shape. So. You know, I think it is a hard thing to do. It's it's not an easy thing, um, but we've done we've done a good job of of staying focused and um, doing what Gary asked us to do. Your last performance in Tampa Bay against your former team that was actually your career high for Nashville SC and saves. Can you just talk about your performance? Yeah, I mean it's you know we just you know I I just try to keep it very simple. Just keep the ball in the net. Do what I can to to help the guys out in front of me and and, and let them know I'm there and. And um, you know, try to try to make sure everything's kind of steady back there and 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 not shaky. Um, you know, it's a, it's always a tough environment going out of Tampa with the heat, with the way they play. Um, they're always a good side, um, well well established group. Um, so it was good to to get a win down there.
for sure. And you're going to your home state yeah. this weekend. So are you excited about that? Do you have family coming out? Is it? I think it's probably your first that you've played in Missouri in a while. Yeah, yeah. I played only one other game that was with Tampa like two years ago uh, when we when Tampa joined the USL. Um, it's always great. I actually used to play on that same field as a as a teenager uh, with Bush Soccer Club. Um, so I know it well. We still have a lot of family back there. So it's. It's gonna be a fun time, and you know, just stay focused, get the points, and enjoy uh, enjoy the company.